Pals can't walk downstairs, right? That's what your pal Steve told you in year three of secondary school. Admittedly, he wasn't very reliable and liked to make a lot of stuff up, but surely this had to be true. A apparently, there was even a local nearby school that stuck a cow at the top of the stairs for a prank. Cows can't walk downstairs, surely, surely not. <sighs> Steve, 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 Steve. Yes, I do realize that you are a fictional character purely to flesh out this intro, but why? Why would you do this to me? Ah, our four-legged agricultural milky friends, the cows. Great on the farm, but apparently not so great at stairs. Is this fact or fiction? Well, actually, it's a little bit of both. I never make it simple, do I? I realize a simple yes or no answer would have sufficed, but a one second video, while easy to make, wouldn't go down quite as well, I think. A cow's dislike of stairs most likely stems from their anatomical design. Due to the position of their head, they can't actually look down to see directly at their feet. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, this would make walking downstairs utterly terrifying and would very much be a leap of faith. In addition to this, when a cow would be angled downwards to head down the stairs, the weight distribution would be horrendous. That cow will basically be coming tumbling down. Its knees and hips can't bend in a way that distributes its weight evenly like we can. Having said this though, on bigger and less steep stairs, a cow will feel much better. While it still may require a bit of gentle encouragement, the ground below will seem like less of a drop, while the front heavy weight distribution will be reduced. Horses are the same. They will certainly struggle to go down a flight of stairs and will only do so unless absolutely necessary. These animals unsurprisingly are not evolutionary adapted for our human stairs. Typical. So, was the story of the cow high school prank, or college prank, true? They stuck a cow at the top of the school stairs where it probably could not be moved, and so a hole had to be cut in the roof for its timely removal. Another version of this story instead had a big barbecue with the cow as it was apparently the only logical way to remove it. As so many people, particularly in the USA, are familiar with this curious tale, there could well be some truth in it somewhere. However, let's be real here. Knowing most school urban legends, probably not. An interesting side note is that thing you are probably calling the cow's knee on its front legs, well, it's not its knee. It's technically its wrist. Then tucked closer to its body and often harder to see, the second joint is the elbow. That means anything below the wrist is just a giant finger. And its hooves? Well, its hooves are in fact a big old fingernail. Then on the back legs, the joint you are most likely assuming again is the knee, is in fact the ankle. The second joint tucked right close to the animal's body is the knee. Huh. Why do cows make things so difficult? So, is it wise to stick a cow, or a horse for that matter, at the top of your stairs for fun. If you've just had your house renovated and don't fancy losing a wall to get it out, I certainly wouldn't recommend it. If you happen to have steps suitable giants with a gentle decline and that consists of only about two steps downwards, then it might be worth a go. Ultimately though, as disappointing as it may sound, this myth is technically false. There is even a video of a cow going down some stairs, albeit 
some very small stairs and barely even counting. But take it from me, cows pretty much cannot go down our weird human proportion stairs. Please don't go trying this one at home, or at school, or at college, or anywhere with stairs. So I'll be seeing you next time for more random learning. Stay hungry for factuality.